um, so um, this case was um, six, seven years old male. Mm -hmm. His complaint was um, motorcycle accident mm -hmm. on our PTA. So um, on our PTA, she has a our motorcycle car. accident. Five oh, okay. okay. And fell okay. on her um, right wrist and also right lower okay. extremity. Okay, so she has a wrist fracture, also the hip fracture. So that's a conclusion. Can you read the film? You see the fracture line here, right? So this the comminution, you see that. You see this area. That is like a big void. The, sh the shadow is different. That means this area also have comminuted fracture. Okay? Fracture like, like this. Actually, there's another film. This is a traction film. Okay. There's a, another film before this one. What is that? This is basilanic. Yeah. It's a talk will be lower. So this is a basilanic fracture. See? Mm -hmm. It's very close to the base of the fracture. So sometimes it's difficult to say this is a basilanic or it's an intertalk. But it's very close, very um, the area is very close. So what's your plan? The, the basilar neck is quite controversy. Okay? It's depending that you, you can reduce it or not, if it's acute or not. Right? So the basilar neck, you have higher chance of healing and less chance of vascular necrosis, right? Yeah, so I discussed with her that there's two options for her. Okay? So uh, we fixed her with the screw. Okay? But this is fractured, uh, fractured basilar neck, so I do the minor invasive fixation. Put this screw, the nail in, and fix this screw. The key is that you need to put this screw very close to this area. We call this area calca, C -L -C -A -L -C -A -R, calca area. This area has very really good bone strength, right? Mm -hmm. There's combination like that. You need the medial support. You need this screw, big screw close to the cow car mm -hmm. and put another screw to prevent location. Right? Because if you have the fracture very proximal, you tend to have rotations because the area is different from the tocantral. When tocantral is you go lo lower, down, there's less chance of locations. Okay? But if the fra uh, fracture is more proximal, like basilar neck, transcervical, you tend to have more locations. So, uh, so after the surgery, the patient feel much better. She can sit and she can ambulate on the bed. Now, right? So that is the example of the fixations for the patient that have baseline neck autocantral. We do it the same way like this. Okay? So now um, you're just waiting for the healing process. Uh, this system is like dynamization. So after the patient getting better, when she put the weight on, okay, the fracture line will be like getting closer because dynamization. Okay? But anyway, now there's some distraction at the fracture side. You can see that here there's some distraction, right? You see the gap? There's a small gap here, right? But don't worry, when the patient walks, this gap will be closer. Because this nail, this screw, can uh, just allow this screw to slide. Yeah, tend to slide so the fracture side can be, can get it closer, right? But, uh, so you see that there's a, a small stack incision, one here, okay, one the top, one lower. There's a two, a three stack incision. And the bleeding is very really minimal. Yeah, it's different from the the past, we make a big incision. Nowadays, we just make a small incisions, making like close reduction and internal fixation. Not OIF. OIF is open reduction internal fixation. This is close reduction, CRIF, close reduction and internal fixation. So the benefit of close reduction is that you you did you did not uh, make injury to the vessel supply around the hip. So the the healing should be better, and the chance of a vascular necrosis should be better yeah, by close means, because the soft tissues around the hip still preserve. Right? Okay. Another problem is that a vascular necrosis. Oh no, no. Uh, 
deep vein thrombosis. Yeah, especially in the Caucasians, they have the highest chance of uh, deep vein thrombosis after surgery. So after surgery, you, you should let the patient ambulate, sit up and exercise, foot pumping, ปัตตามีนะครับกระดกฟ้าเท้าขึ้นลงนักบ่อยๆนะครับนะนะช่วยป้องกันไม่ให้เลือดดําอุดตันนะครับซึ่งครบได้บ่อยในภาวะที่ม
uh, depends uh, if the fracture line is very really low okay, and the fracture is not that dispersed. Uh, the chance of a vascular necrosis is not that much right, for the vascular neck comparing to transcervical and subcapital. You, have to, you, you need to encounter two problems. One problem is the healing, right? So if you, uh, one problem healing, number two is the avascular necrosis, right? So the healing, I think, not the problem. Not the problem because the vascular supply is pretty good in this area. And your fixation is under close means. You didn't disturb the vascular supply of the hip. So the fracture should be happen, right? But another problem is a vascular necrosis. You need to judge. Uh, if uh, the fracture line is not that high, I think the vascular necrosis should be okay. Yeah. But you need to discuss with the patients. For the total atrophasty for basically not going to be in case of the building. Yeah, right. And if you uh, judge that the fracture is not that stable, and you have a high chance of a vascular necrosis, you discuss with the patient that uh, if you don't want the second surgery, so this is like a one-shot surgery. ขอบคุณค่ะคุณป้าค่ะป้านั่งพักนี้ก่อนเนาะเดี๋ยวเรานั่งนี้ดีกว่าเนาะแล้วก็ยกแข่งยก